Okay, so the so I said that the prover and the verifier needs to form this uh, F polynomial together, so that the verifier can enforce the constraints, you know, of that circuit. That's kind of a we can call that the circuit polynomial, and the prover can also hide the parts of the circuits that are uh, private inputs or private uh, temporary values. So the first way you can think about that is that maybe you know if we decompose F. Remember, f is equal to, actually, I can just go back to the previous slide. f is equal to, to this polynomial here. And maybe, you know, since the verifier knows QL, QR, QO, QC, and QM, which describe the, 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 the whole circuit or all the, the constraints uh, in our circuit, then the, the prover really doesn't need to send these and can instead send L, R, O, uh, and that's it. And so basically, here we can um, we can think that instead we're sending L of Z, R of Z, and O of Z, and then instead of checking that equation, we're, we're checking um, instead of checking that equation, we'll check L Z Q L Z you know as the verifier plus R Z Q R Z plus uh, O zeta, Q O zeta, plus uh, Q C zeta, plus L zeta, R zeta, Q M zeta. And we check that this is equal to zero. Um, and, and if you remember correctly, the zipper, uh, the short zipper lemma, <laughs> uh, short zipper lemma tells us that if this is equal to zero for a random point z, then did I say z? Yeah, it's completely it's z. If it's zero for a random point z, then you know that this this is true for pretty much um, all points in the field. Um, and what am I doing? This, this is not even that. This is just f, right? So it's not going to be equal to zero. It's going to be equal to this this value. Sorry. Hopefully you, you saw that I made a mistake. Um, okay, so, th so that's better. That's better because now these things are truly fixed. You know, the, the prover cannot lie about them and the verifier cannot see these, um, the, these parts, which are, which are, which the prover wants these to remain secret. Okay, so no, we're getting we're getting closer to the actual protocol, um, but we still have another problem: is that we're actually we're actually revealing these things. Um, I'm revealing the evaluation of these of these polynomials, um, you know, to, to the verifier, which is not great. And the other thing is that maybe I'm also building L R O, um, you know. Oh, sorry. I'm building all these polynomials based on the value z that you sent me, uh, which is bad because now that I know z, I can I can I don't really have to I can lie again on the value of these polynomials and build some polynomial that you know on z will give me the, the right value so that this this equation check. So what's really important here at this point in the protocol, what's really important is that I cannot form as the prover, I cannot form these polynomials after I know what z, uh, z is. And if I, if I, if I can do that, I, there are like some attacks that, that I can perform to, um, on the soundness of the protocol, which means I can lie and find something that actually doesn't, um, it's not an execution, correct execution of the circuit. So in the next video, I'm going to explain how we can force the prover to commit to this polynomial, commit to L, commit to R and commit to Z, uh, force the prover to commit to these polynomials before, before seeing the uh, Z point that uh, they'll have to evaluate these polynomials at. And because, um, well, spoiler alert, but because you're, you're, you're sending evaluations here, uh, in this run of the protocol, you'll need a way to tie these evaluations to these commitments and so you'll also have to send some sort of uh, proof, proof of evaluation.
And so, again, spoiler alert, for that I will use uh, what something that's called uh, polynomial commitment, commitment scheme, sometimes abbreviated as PCS, uh, although that doesn't really matter too much. But um, the next video will, will kind of take a step back and, and, and explain this construction be before we can move forward.